Lucas Media. So the NCAA finally made it to where schools can pay college players. And I'm even hearing that it's even potential, it's revenue sharing. Where the players may get anywhere from 10 to 25% of the of the revenue. Now, everybody knows for the last hundred some plus years, the NCAA has basically been free labor. And 20 with the 2020, they finally made it to where it might have been 2021, somewhere around it. But they made it to where you can finally get paid for playing. Uh, now you can get endorsements, but the schools can pay you. But now the schools are finally starting to pay you. And it's about time. Thank you to the Supreme Court who ruled that 9-0 in, in favor of the lawsuit that made players be able to get NIL deals where the people who was suing the NCAA, they were allowed to get laptops and all of that now. Then they came out and basically said these players getting free, uh, all these people getting free labor. And I wish it wouldn't have happened this late. And I wish the NCAA would have... See, here's my thing with the NCAA. You should have been came out with this. This only helps y'all because now you got people who, you know, they might be real talented, but they didn't really necessarily want to play because you got to wait all these years to get to get to go pro. Now you can go to me. The college is basically the pros now, and they, depending on how good you are, you're gonna get paid. So you don't have to necessarily think about playing in the NFL. You can get to college and make ten million dollars. Think about Reggie Reggie Bush. How much money do you think Reggie Bush would have made his 04, 05 campaign at USC? What was oh no 05, 06. I'm tripping. 05, 06 campaign at USC. Reggie Bush would have probably made 10, 10, 10 to 20 million dollars on top of what he made in the NFL. Think about Johnny Manziel. Johnny Manziel might have made 40 million dollars before he, he went to the league. I mean, even with basketball. Look at Zion Williamson. Could you imagine if NIL deals and revenue sharing was out then? So you might start to see an uptick and people wanting to play college sports. And not just football and basketball, but all sports now that you can potentially make a lot of money off of it. And they're doing they're finally doing revenue sharing. You know, if, if a school bring in, let's just say, what, $100 million, you get 25% of it. $25 million go to go to the team. You split that down between... What, 100 players? Everybody eating. Everybody making at least six figures. On top of getting a free education. So, I mean, I, better late than never. And, I, oh, I did see where they did a settlement, too. And I believe that it's four years. If you was four years prior to 2020, you'll, be get, you'll get compensation. Hopefully, all them players did. And it's about time. It's about time. That whole old model the NCAA is over it's too much money they making a billion dollars off of March Madness then why can't the players make a couple hundred million off of it you know uh, t- uh, revenue is going up in every single sport well then everybody need to get paid so it's about time everybody agree with it again shout out to the Supreme Court Justice for getting this everything started with this this was long overdue but I just want to give my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think